because there's a there are two minds, and um, and really what I think we're trying to do at this point in time is shift a consciousness, a collective consciousness. The consciousness we're looking to shift is from climax consciousness, which will be seen as so arcane. It will be seen like leeches, although I guess leeches are making a big comeback, but um, <laughs> it will be seen like bloodletting or leeches, something yeah. like that. It'll yeah. be like, do you remember when we used to have climax consciousness? <laughs> and it'll just be so like that. And then uh, we will progress into a process-oriented consciousness that uh, sees uh, intimacy available here and now at all times, irrespective of conditions. And, and we we'll recognize I mean, you know, that intimacy yeah. is what we're looking for. You know, the, the, right. the, the families that formed in the gay communities I was a part of formed because there was a fundamental understanding that sexual energies were important yeah. and uh, that the revealing of something that is normally concealed opens you yeah. up for a deeper level of intimacy across the board. And there was, I remember there was a feeling of intimacy that was so poignant, so yeah. different, uh, a feeling of four. And unfortunately, part of it was that we were so you know, well, we were getting killed. <laughs> yeah, we were getting yeah. literally. Yeah. And uh, but so part of that was that. But but there really was something profound. And so these various and it's dying. these various yeah. experiences. Yeah. You say what informed my work? That was one of one of the experiences that informed my work. Oh, when people don't conceal their sexuality and recognize the importance of it, a depth of intimacy and belonging evolves. That. Uh, that makes it be that you don't have to answer to the artificial man-made rules and laws in order to belong.